Uh, San Jose business faces a boycott because the owner is being accused of being involved in the removal of two treasured murals in a predominantly Latino neighborhood. And this is happening in East San Jose. And as KPIX 5's Len Ramirez reports, the activists are hoping to bring those murals back. Well, it was one year ago today that East San Jose lost its second wall mural depicting Chicano history. And folks here are protesting and picketing a business, hoping to make sure that it doesn't happen again. The day-long protest and boycott took place in front of a dental center where Chicano leaders say the first of two wall murals depicting their history was wiped away. It's culture erasure, you know. The building on Alum Rock Avenue once had this mural on its side wall depicting the culture's Aztec and Mayan roots all the way up to Cesar Chavez, who grew up just a few blocks away. It was painted over in 2014. Then, last year, this mural on Story Road, about a mile away, was also painted over, reportedly as a condition of the sale of the building. Both buildings reportedly have ties to the same dentist who did not return an email for comment. But protest leader Jose Valle says enough is enough. It looks like there's an agenda of some type to remove our culture and history and art from our own neighborhoods, from our own communities. The dental center was closed today, possibly because of the protest. But in response, attorney Bob Camors, who represents the dentist, sent this email saying of Mr. Valle, quote, his accusation is wrong. It goes on to say the center did not take any action concerning the mural, referring only to the Story Road mural. The attorney did not respond to a request for an interview or have any comment on the Alum Rock mural in which the artist received a cash settlement from the dentist. Meantime, a new preservation group is formed called El Comité, which will try to get protections for about a dozen more cultural murals that remain in San Jose. Our history isn't written in textbooks, so seeing these murals in our neighborhoods is extremely important. The group's other goal may be even more difficult to restore the two murals that have been lost by removing what's been painted on top. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.